Hey guys, I wanted to go glasses off for this one because um, it's a topic very close to my heart. It's kind of candid, honestly, and it's a follow-up to to a video I did about the existential and philosophical implications of the resurrection of Christ in the Bible. I'll leave that one down in the description, but I basically talked about, you know, living in the moment, um, not missing things, stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to talk about today, um, you know, what comes after the, the bland, the, the glance, the blink, and really brothers um that's really where time stops where you know as the title of this video says we shall all be changed and um you know there have been i don't know how many books how many essays whatever trying to answer um you know what what exactly does that mean how will our bodies be changed in that moment um well guys honestly I I'm not a theologian I'm just a theology enjoyer but um In my opinion, you know, given everything that's preceded up to that point in 1 Corinthians 15, um, it's very clear that Paul sort of takes like an Epicurean sort of like view of things. He's like, there's a nature or there's a matter for the sun and the moon and animals, right? Like, because that's what Epicureans thought, guys. They thought that each animal, its atoms were, like, physically different from all of the other atoms and stuff. Obviously, we know that that's not exactly true. We know that there are a set number of atoms and it's just their arrangement that um, matters, but it's something akin to, like, spirit or breath, like, like, it's kind of a contradiction, because how could you have, um, something that's still substance, that is, at the same time, pure spirit, pure uh, pneuma, neuma, pneuma, or however you pronounce that. How, guys? Um, and really, really the answer is that you just have to believe. Um, but let me tell you what that moment, the moment of change really means to me, okay? Because... Like, I don't know, as someone who has, like, for their entire life been defined by their substance, all of this that's on the outside, when I, like, bro, it's literally, it's literally bringing me to tears, but when I think about that moment, I think about being freed from this and all of the prejudice that it brings with it. All of it, brothers and sisters, where I can finally be myself, my essence. Where I won't have to be judged by others because of what I look like and what I am. And. I mean, I think regardless of what you believe, because you guys know that, again, I'm not a believer, but still, bro, um, I mean, I'm, I'm Latino, there's no way, um, that that wasn't gonna, 
that the Bible wasn't gonna be a fixture in my house. So like I like I've always that verse especially since last year since I um got to examine it a little bit more with Kierkegaard has always just it's it's one of the most magnificent, one of the most poetic verses of of in the entire scripture and it means so much to me because I want to be free. I know that I know there has to be something other than than just this. There's like I don't want to be in this body anymore where people unfairly judge me and I know a lot of people don't want to be either so I mean that's why the moment of change the moment we shall all be changed matters to me goodbye